Lastly, now we're going to talk about how to calculate gradient on a contour map. And gradient tells us how much the elevation is changing in a given distance we travel. So page one of our Earth Science Reference Table has the formula for gradient. And it's the second formula in our box of equations. We're going to be finding the gradient from A to B on the Big Island of Hawaii in this practice worksheet. The formula for gradient is change in field value over distance. So change in field value is just the change in elevation between A and B. A is at sea level. Oftentimes on a map, sea level is not given a number. You just need to know that's zero feet. So sea level is zero feet elevation. There would be water surrounding this island. Sea level is zero feet. B is indicated as 5,000 feet. If you trace the line from B to the left, you can run into that 5,000. So our change in elevation is obviously 5,000 feet. Now we need to figure out the distance between A and B. So we're going to be using the map scale. So when you have this on a question, you should reproduce the map scale on scrap paper exactly as you see it there and carefully. Every tick mark on this scale you can see is 10 miles. If you line up your paper with A to B, you're going to see that it is 30 miles between A and B. So we're three tick marks in and every one is 10 miles. So now our gradient is going to be 5,000 feet is our change in elevation or our change in field value divided by 30 miles, which we just used the map scale for. And when we do the calculation, with a calculator would help, we get 166.7 feet per mile. And notice I'm writing my units when I substitute so I know my units and the answer. So every mile we travel, the elevation would go up 166.7 feet, or down if we were going in the downhill direction, which is a pretty steep gradient. So this is the end of our presentation, but now it's just the beginning of your application of it so you can really learn and understand it. Please feel free to review this video in segments when you need it in order, in order to help understand this again, because this does take more than one viewing to really get.